Hello everyone, and welcome back to Law Mage Academy. Oh, that, hold on. There we go. Alright, um... So I think this time... Okay, we're well rested, so I think this time I'm going to do that, um... I'm gonna do that mission. Um, not like the mission mission, but like, uh, but like the, the class mission. The one that's only available for a certain amount of time. And then I might start building friendship with some party members before I go on said mission. Because the, the game really emphasizes, like, it wants you to, like, build friendship between your party members. Alright, let's go ahead and start this. Farewell, please proceed to West Wing 1. Okay, so what is this? Hello everyone, I am Law Mage Yuki. I am the visiting specialist on charms research. I've been interested in charms ever since I was a candidate like yourself. That is why I pursue an apprenticeship with High Magister Isla Solrun, where I graduate uh, when I graduated. After all, she is the leading authority on charms research. Anyway, let us proceed with the lecture. Today we will be talking about charms from the N Nolin region. As you know, Nolene is the center of the mining industry in uh, Magus Gaia. If you need gems and precious stones, you can surely find them there. But Nolene is not only famous for its extravagance, it's also known to have contribu contrib contributed to the rapid development of charms research. In fact, High Master uh, Isla started her career studying the magical properties of gems from no uh, Noel. Uh, no Nolene. I don't know why that word messes me up so much. <laughs> One of the breakthrough, uh, breakthroughs she made was creating charms out of jewels. Her first charm was the Sapphire Ring. She discovered that sapphires possess extraordinary defensive properties, making them perfect materials for defensive charms. High Master Sir I uh, Isla's second charm is the Emerald Ring. Turns out that emeralds, when possessed properly, can boost one's physical abilities. That's something for Ein. However, emeralds are also weak to pierce. The, the same weakness is carried over to anyone who equips the charm. Finally, the Ruby Ring enhances the wearer's magical abilities by an impressive amount. It's quite popular with magic users, especially law mages. The only drawback is that it makes you weak to blunt damage, though in my opinion, the trade-off is worth it. Now I know what you're thinking. Where can we get one of those? How much does it cost? Well, my dear candidates, you can find these charms in uh, Nolene for uh, 1500 apiece. Oh, come on, don't give me that look. I'm not going to uh, dismiss your, you empty-handed, you know. I'll give everyone a chance to win one of these charms. If you don't get a charm, you still get a coupon from my shop. <laughs> so here's what will happen. I have, um, I have with me a box of multiple compartments. I'll pass this around and each of you will pick a compartment. You get to keep whatever is inside the compartment you choose. Sound good? Alright, then pass this around. Iron, marble, wooden cloth. You know, I'm gonna guess that this is a trick question. Like, iron and marble sound tough. Cloth, like, I don't know, wood just sounds boring. Which makes me think that, like, this is gonna be, this is a little bit of a trick question. They want you to pick that one, actually. <clears throat> Ruby ring. Nice. Now, she mentioned three rings, but there are four options, so I kind of wonder what was in the fourth one, because I'm assuming you can find one of each in there. There goes the bell. I hope you all enjoyed this lecture. If you ever have the char uh, chance to visit no uh, Noli Noline, Drop by my shop and say hello, will you? Class dismissed. Maybe a coupon is in that one. I always forget you get experience for doing those. Well, there we go. Um, What does that one do again? Magical abilities. Okay, so I should give that to you. Actually, that lowers it a little bit. Fairy Clip is better. Oh, whoops! Why does it want the gnome ring on you? I want a staff on you for now. 
I don't think the fox tie is the best thing for you. Maybe attack and agility for now. Wait, no. Sword? Okay, so I do want a bludgeoning weapon on you. I got an idea. I'll put the mace on you and the volt staff on you. Okay, that'll work out. Now I'm gonna spend the night starting to, um... Starting to race friendship with people. We do not have your, um... We don't have your, uh, your, like, uh, your aura attack yet, so let's see if, uh, we can raise a uh, friendship with you. I'm glad that we can both relax tonight, so what have you been up to? Ah, learning stuff. This appears to be the same stuff as before. So that seemed identical to last time. Okay, we're tired, but not sick yet. I'm glad you're free today, Sile. I really didn't want to be alone today. How have you been? How's the academy like training you so far? I think we're doing all right. Seems to be going—it's going by quickly, though. It's nice to know that you're holding up well despite our hectic schedule. Schedule of one class a day. You know, I've been feeling frustrated with myself lately. I feel like I'm not good enough. I'm getting tired of my own incompetency. You see, I found a book on dagger techniques recently. I tried practicing the moves in the book, but I can never seem to get it right. I want to learn in the, uh, learn these moves so bad so I can stand up on my own. I don't want to be weak and rely on others all the time to defend me. I have to be stronger. I have to be better than this. But why? <laughs> I told you, I can't keep relying on other people to help. I guess I should tell you why I'm here in the first place. My family is held uh, in high esteem in the capital, the city of dreams, Valencia. In fact, many of my relatives are law mages. My parents made sure that I get in law mage academy. They want me to uh, receive training here and be strong, so I can be successful just like them. I told them that I want to study in an art academy, but they said that I have no, for, uh, no future as an artist. They said that being a law mage is a more stable and reliable profession. You know, honestly, they're probably right. I know enough starving artists, honestly. <laughs> I mean, I understand where they are coming from. It's not like something I see myself doing for the rest of my life. No. But enough about that. I need to focus on this dagger technique. If I perfect this, I'll be one step closer to being worthy. Would you like to help me? You can be the target dummy! <laughs> Stand still, okay? No... No bless? I, I almost misread that as nosebleed. No bless. It worked! I even managed to control my movement so I wouldn't hit you. Who knows, all I needed uh, was a practice dummy like you. Thanks for being with me today. Because of you, I was able to focus on my technique. Don't worry, I, I was just kidding about using you as a target dummy, silly.
So what kind of ability is that? Interesting. So it's just another raw damage move. Also, is she supposed to be using daggers? I don't think I've seen a dagger yet. I mean, that would explain... That would make a lot of sense. I've seen two bludgeoning weapons, two piercing weapon types, but only one slashing weapon type. But if there's a one I haven't seen, it's daggers. That would make a lot of sense, actually. You know, I'm sort of, like, using the sp uh, the aura spells to, like, kind of gauge what I should be doing with a character. Like, his is, like, blunt, just raw damage, which makes me think that you're meant to use him like a, like a berserker, almost. For him, it's, like, raw fire damage. But for her, it's, like, I, I don't know, I got the impression that she's a mage so far. Like, an all-out black mage, but then I get, like, a dagger skill? Huh. I might have to think about that. Oh, also, I just thought of something else. Another way I can give my characters more, um, more type, uh, type diversity, or, like, type advantage, or, I don't know, I haven't played Pokemon in a while, I forgot the terminology here, but, like, yeah, you have a piercing move, but your, uh, your, uh, your aura skill is a blunt move. You don't need to have a blunt weapon equipped to use that, apparently. I thought that was the case, because, you know, that's how it works in a lot of RPGs, and I can use that to my advantage. Like, you have a slash move. So what else can you equip? You can equip, um, pierce attacks. So can I give you a spear or something? You have a spear equipped. Maybe I should give that to you? Give you the spear. That increases defense, which might be okay. And give you a sword. I really like that, um, that mace. But, like, I think having more, um, more variety in my moves would be better for right now. So, yeah, we'll stick with that for the time being. And, ooh, okay, I'm gonna have to play around with Jin a little bit. If I like him being physical, um, I'll use, like, the mace. If I like him being special, I'll use the volt staff. But physical and special. God, I have such, like, a like a Pokemon mindset when it comes to, like, weaknesses in RPGs. <laughs> I guess that makes sense, because, like, Pokemon is, like, hyper-focused on, on, like, weaknesses. Like, you kind of need that mechanic to beat the, uh, to beat any of these, those fights. I still don't have it burn, correct? I, oh no, I do, I do. I think if I were to do this then tomorrow I would be, um, I would be sick. I think I'll do it, though. Attack and magic. Yeah, these sprites are really good. Like, I really like the artwork in this game. I haven't really, like, commended it yet, but... <laughs> he seems like the type that would want to talk about training. I go out and fight monsters whenever I can. You should do it, too. It's a good way to raise our grades. Okay, so I'm probably going to feel sick now. No, still tired. Okay, so I have one more day of, like, staying up late before I feel sick. So every character has at least one aura skill. So now I kind of want to work on, like, something else, maybe. Either the library or, like, another class if it's uh, something I immediately want to take. What do we got here? This is a special potion craft session discussing the effects of poison in detail and how to, um, to administer remedies. In this class, you will learn the an intermediate level law mage spell. Candidates are expected to choose one spellbook to be studied in their free time. You know, we have been told that, um, we're gonna need to take some antidotes to the mission that we have to do, so maybe taking this would be a good idea. Let's go ahead and do that. 
Welcome, dear candidates. Please settle down so we can begin this lesson on poison. Let's begin by discussing what happens when one is poisoned. Simply put, being poisoned is a state wherein your health gets reduced over time. Some monsters can inflict poison more effectively than others. It's also worth noting that each individual has a different tolerance to poison. Having said that, being poisoned is a matter of chance. Being struck by a poison monster does not guarantee that you will be poisoned. Fortunately, our aura is capable of curing most types of poison. That is why you will eventually get cured given enough time. However, keep in mind that this is a dangerous state to be in. Do not be careless when fighting poisoned mo poisonous monsters. That is why I have advised bringing a few antidotes when, uh, with you during missions. Pardon my curiosity, but is there a spell that allows us uh, to poison foes? Of course, although it's not a popular field magic, yeah, because status illness spells almost never work in these games. It sounds like it would be a powerful spell. That may be true, however, you can easily achieve the same result by crafting a vial of po a poison. To elaborate, uh, by now you should know that law mages choose wh uh, where they want to specialize in. Those who specialize in spellcrafting tend to focus on elemental magic because it's more reliable. Is that so? I suppose poison magic works differently from element magic. As I said, being poisoned is a matter of chance. The same holds true for poison magic. Even if you successfully cast a spell, does not necessarily mean your target will be poisoned. So inflicting poison is a matter of luck, then. That is one way to put it. Besides, it is easier to craft a potent vial of poison than to develop a powerful poison spell. Thank you, Professor. That was very informative. Your questions are purely academic, aren't they, Candidate? Surely you do not intend to poison someone? <laughs> not at all, Professor. I was simply interested in the theoretical aspects of it all. And I have no cause for concern. We shall conclude the class uh, here. I'll distribute a few samples of antidotes. You are free to go after recover after receiving one. Keep in mind that uh, the recipe can be found in Potion Craft Volume One. I encourage you to make some antidotes in preparation for your upcoming exam at the end of the month. Class dismissed. I think I have a couple of these, but it's good to know that I should have them too. Let me just check real quick. Yeah, I got a couple. I don't know how many I need, but hmm. Let's spend some more time with Ein. I'm probably going to feel sick tomorrow, so I'll spend that day at the library instead. I still have plenty of time before I have to, uh... I have to do that mission. I want to talk about crafting. I am trying to make that my forte in this playthrough. I'm actually enjoying it. It's fun crafting new gear and potions. All I have to do is relax and follow the recipe. Huh? Oh. How it worded that, I thought I was gonna, like, get a new crafting recipe there or something. And I feel sick. Okay, to the library. No battling today. Which I have, have we done any battling this episode yet? <laughs> I haven't read this in a while. Oh, okay, we know about that. Okay, so what do we got? We already read that one, actually. You know, about the church, too. Hold on. I almost forgot about this, but... Whoa, we have all three of those. They're on my party members, but... For not doing any battling for a while, I could give them to the church instead. This is probably a bad idea, but I'm gonna do this anyway. We can craft more later. Let's do this real quick. This will only take a second and I get an item right away for doing it.
Also, I just remember I've been forgetting to collect, um... Uh, to collect that wood every morning. That's probably gonna be important for, like, getting items later. Yeah, I gotta get into the habit of doing this every day. Take some of this, too. That cafe opens soon as well. Volt Crystal. The guards of the Southern Valhart region appreciate your contribution, candidate. I shall inform you of our next donation effort in the future. For now, your contribution of armors will suffice. So that's all I have for now. And is that the type of crystal I can equip? It is. Weakness to Earth, but I can cast... Who cannot cast that right now? You don't have that spell. Oh, neither of you have that spell. Neither of you have a crystal either. I'm gonna put it on Alyssa for now, because she's more based around magic. Or at least that's what I feel like I'm gonna do with this uh, with her. Yeah, agility and magic. That works. That probably wasn't worth it, honestly, but, yeah, whatever. Let's learn about the Holy Orders. Please take a seat. Upon becoming priests of the Holy Church, we lose our names to signify that our lives are no longer ours uh, alone to live. From then on, we are simply referred to as priests. We are Im implored to travel the world and provide uh, aid to people in need. This is a great responsibility, a call to ser uh, serve with complete selflessness. Though it is important to prepare our hearts and minds for the journey, we must also bring adequate tools to defend ourselves from physical threats that surround us. To pray and to work, that is our creed. Apply the same principle when traveling. Brothers and sisters, rely on prayer to defend your soul. Use your weapons to uh, defend your body. Weapons and armor. <gasps> oh! That must be new uh, crafting recipes. I remember the last time I read, I read like, like, a religious book in one of these games. It was like the first ten pages of the Bible verbatim. <laughs> oh, that was a funny game. <laughs> it's, it's informative. It's about like European history, but like that is something I never expected to have to do on this channel. <laughs> I think that was the first Greek Odyssey. I don't know. It's been a while since I played that. I'm no longer sick, too, which means I could do some battling. I want to see what those pilgrim tools are. Is that it? Cleric Spear. Good stats. Deals piercing damage. I need a spear to make it, and I have a spear. God, I find it... I, I really wish, like, examining it told you what spells that... Or what crafting um, recipes that thing taught you. I kind of want a Cleric Spear, so let's make one of those.
Five leather, two wood roots. I'm gonna just remake these real quick. Huh? Oh, three silk, too. God, that's expensive. I need something better for you at some point, too. And who's using the spear? You are. Yeah, that's just straight up- that's just a- just a straight upgrade. I want to do this one now. Please proceed to West Wing 2. Greetings, welcome to Spellcasting Intermediate Class. It's a pleasure to see you all again. Before we begin, I would like to remind everyone that the exam day is scheduled at the end of this month. Learning a new spell is one of the best ways to prepare for the exams. That is why I'm glad that you are here to expand your arsenal of spells. Anyway, without further ado, allow me to show you the selection of spells for this class. At Kim. This weakens your enemy's offensive capabilities by decreasing their attack. That feels kind of in line of what my character is building up to be. You may cast it again on the same enemy to decrease their attack even further. Such a technique is called STACKING! <laughs> Magios. This allows you to deal more damage to your spells by enhancing your magic. Keep in mind that, uh, that buffs such as Magios can, can be stacked twice. Casting on the same target for a third time will simply refresh the duration. The same rule applies to debuffs such as uh, Atkim and Defim. The third spell that you can learn is Sen, is the Sen version of your ultimate elemental spell. A Sen spell simply means that uh, the target it targets all enemies or allies in your vicinity. Group hits, basically. If you don't know an uh, elemental spell yet, then I shall give you an in in vol in volt spell book. These spells are trickier to learn than the ones spell uh, in spellcasting basics, hence you cannot learn them right away. Instead, you are allowed to pick a spell book to study in your free time. I'm confident you will be able to learn these spells with enough time and effort. I'll give you some time to decide which spell you want to learn. I'm going to learn the attack down one. Yeah, okay. Wow, debuffs and crafting. What a weird combination. <laughs> Does everyone here uh, have their spell books? Excellent. Now we can conclude the class. Study well and best of luck in the exam candidate. Class dismissed. This will probably take multiple days to learn as well. Hmm. Oh, whoops! Okay, good, that doesn't take up the day. Also, I'm kind of curious about something. If I study this more, does that make it so I learn the level 2 version eventually? Huh, I might have to test that later. Let's start with Atkim, though.
I feel tired. Okay. Oh, remember? I want to check something real quick, too. Uh, no. I just kind of... I, I want to, like, double-check if there were any, like, uh missions around the area that I could do. Dueling Hall? Still can't do anything there. Also, didn't they at one point talk about some, like, teleporting thing I can go to? They said it was in this building, right? Honestly, it doesn't take that long to walk everywhere, so I think I'm just fine doing this. I want to go back to the library. Read Monster Weaknesses 1. It's possible to, go, uh, to guess the weakness of a monster based on their type. Monsters will have the least, at least one elemental weakness specify, uh, specified in this guide. Beast-type monsters such as wolves, ogres, and similar creatures are weak to water or nature. Nature-type monsters like plants and are vulnerable to fire, however some of them are weak to wind. Flying-type monsters can be defeated with lightning, otherwise you may use nature to deal with them. This concludes the first chapter. Oh, for the whole party? That's pretty good. So I think what I'm going to do at this point is, if there's no more um, classes to do, I'll spend day, uh, days just, like, boosting... Um, I'll spend days just boosting my friendship with people until I feel uh, sick, and then I'll uh, I'll sleep, and then at that point um, I'll do the mission. I have until the fifteenth to do it, so I still have like like five days. I don't know, a week in this game is like five days long, which is a little confusing to wrap my head around because you know weeks are seven days long. Okay, so yeah. I'm done with classes. Hmm, who should I build friendship with? Jin already knows an aura attack, but I haven't like I haven't like talked of him a lot to like give him his own. Let's try that. I'll talk with Jin. Oh, he's right here. Are you doing anything today? I could use a break from training. So you're free today, huh? What have you been doing lately? Friends. Is that so? Personally, I don't like asking other people to help, so I don't mind if, uh... I don't mind if I don't have that much friends. By the way, what do you usually do when you're not, uh, not attending classes? Crafting. <laughs> Interesting. Crafting your gear makes battles easier, doesn't it? I should probably do the same. Maybe I'll get into it sometime. It's getting late. I should get going. You doing anything tomorrow? <laughs> Neither of these, really?
Oh! Nice. Huh. They said that those were, like, tougher to learn, so I was expecting it to take, like, four or even five days to do, but that's that's fine, too. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Okay, so are we feeling the cafe? Okay, I gotta check out the cafe, too. And we're feeling sick. Okay, so tonight I will sleep, and then the next day we will do that field mission. Didn't learn anything new for Jin, but it should be fine. Should I craft new armor for Jin? I think it'll be fine. Well, let's see what this is, finally. Oh, wait, wait, almost forgot. <laughs> okay, so what is this? I wonder if I can make a better version of this ca of the these cafe items. Uh, ca Ia with an accent is not um in this uh in this font. You might want to change that. <laughs> a stronger coffee, maybe. Hey, maybe you can ask around uh, in your house commons. Some uh, someone probably tried it already. You don't need to spell cafe with it. I mean, it's proper, but like I doubt anyone will complain if it's not there. So I love eating bread with coffee. Too bad Fox Home House only has root beer. That's why I'm here. I can I can buy as much bread and coffee as I want. I see someone with like a friendship mission over there. Zarlis? I'm not quite sure how you say that. Welcome to the cafe. I'm Zarlis the Barista. If you're feeling tired, you can get a cup of coffee and get right back into your studies. There are other drinks available too. So is there anything you'd like to buy? Oh, so it's a shop. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. Lune Lunel. Hello, I wasn't expecting to see you here. Do you mind if we talk for a bit? Sure. Wonderful. Let's talk. Uh, take a table over there. I'll go get some tea. Thanks again for helping me with the golem. Oh yeah, you're the person we saved. I tr I'm truly grateful for your help. I don't think I could have defeated that golem alone. Ah, uh, you're welcome. Right. How was the tea? Do you like it? Not really. <laughs> I kind of like tea in real life. I need to know what happens if you say this, though. Sorry, I should have picked something else. Something wrong. Nothing, it's just that... I'm not very good at making friends. Me too, with no punctuation. <laughs> Really, so I'm not the only one. That's a relief. I suppose I should try to explain it better. I'm from Mollus, and as you probably know, most elves live there. Growing up, I had difficulty making friends with kids my age. I don't know if you ever noticed, but I have a I have short ears compared to most elves. That's because I'm a, I'm a half elf. My father is an elf, and my mom is a human. People used to tease me a lot about it, so no one wanted to play with me. So I spent most of my time alone. That's terrible. I guess so, but I don't really mind because we have a lot of books at home. My older brother would recommend interesting books for me to read, so I'm fine with staying at home. Lanao looks away. She seems to be thinking of what to say next. My favorite. Let's see. Encyclopedias. It makes me feel like I'm discovering new things around the world. What, uh, what about you? What kind of books do you like? Spell books. <laughs> I like spell books too. It's really fun when you're finally able to cast spells properly. Can't remember the last time I had this much fun talking to someone. I usually take uh, talk to my brother, but he's much older than me and he's often busy with his studies. I'm bored. <laughs> Again, it's... I'm sorry. When I was a kid, I rarely went out, out to play with other children, so I still have a lot to learn when it comes to socializing. Even now, I'm still not sure how to make friends properly. We're friends. You consider me your friend. I think you're, you're the first friend I ever made at the Academy. Oh, 
Is that a new party member? Lunel! Nice! Okay, so I'm probably not gonna take her on this mission because she's super new. It probably doesn't have any, like, good skills yet. I usually study on my own, but if you want to study and have some tea together, we can meet up here. Thank you for being my friend. Alright, um, how do I... How do I check, like, her stats or something? Wait, she is in my party, right? I can't hit, like, down to see her or something. Is there no way to see reserve party members? That is really weird. I don't think I've ever played an RPG Maker game that, that did that, huh? I'd work on fixing that, because that's kind of weird. <laughs> it's just really convenient to be able to see them all at once, even if they're not in their party. Yeah, because typically when they're displayed like this, like, if you just go to the right, they're there, but they're, like, grayed out. But you can still, like, check out their equipment and, like, and, like change their equipment and see their spells or something. Huh. Um, okay. Well, I'm not playing to use her anyway, because, again, I, I have some friendship in the other characters. So, yeah. Okay, I think it is time to do the field mission, finally. I haven't saved this episode yet. Okay, so what do we gotta do for this again? Journal. Go to Zoclad Hills again. Kill the Garuda, then report back to the Mentor. Okay. Wow, I really have to talk to you to do this. That is odd. So she's the dedicated magic user. Okay, so maybe I should put her in the party if I want to do with her what I'm basically doing with Alyssa. I... I really? I just want to see her stats. This is really unintuitive. Like, it's weird, because, like, by default, it's not this hard of RPG Maker. Like, work was put in to make this more tough to use. Like, and that kind of annoys me a lot. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's, like, the plugin that, like, lets you... That, like, makes this menu possible, because it is very different from other RPG Maker menus. But, like, I don't know, it's just... It's just a nice quality of life thing to be able to just have them all on standby, just to look at their stats, you know? Okay, so she has pretty basic equipment so far. Oh, she does have an aura skill! Whoa, whoa, that's pretty good. She's grade 7, too. No, she's grade 9. You know what? Hold on. I think I will put her in the party over Alyssa. Dude, there's a plugin that lets you do this. Who did I take out? I think it was Jin. Okay, um... You can equip spears, too. That's good. I had this on her and magic cloak. Okay, that looks good. Oh, and her, um, hold on. You do have Involt, so I should give this to, uh... Probably you, because you don't have Involt. Even if you're not... Oh, oops.
Hold on, hold on. Um... Yeah, I think that is best for you right now. Okay, okay. Oh! It takes two days to go there! I'm glad I did this a little earlier than I needed to. Yeah, because that probably counts towards the deadline. God, I wonder what happens if you fail this mission. There is a space for failed missions in your um, little uh, journal, but that's by default in the uh, the RPG Maker plugin that does that anyway. Also, this music is really good. I haven't really complimented it yet. It kind of sounds like gauntlet music almost. What's your deal? Oh, you again. Thank you for helping us. You human stabilized a crystal. It was driving my sisters mad. To show my gratitude, allow me, uh, I'm allowing you to visit Fairy Village anytime you want. Uh, maybe later. Although, maybe there's, like, missions I can do there? I, I bet I can... Hold on, there's a save crystal right there. Also, let's do a fight first. I kinda, I'm kind of curious to see, like, what Lunel can do. They fly, so they're probably weak to this. No. Um, okay. They're weak to blunt. I did not expect that. Well, that went well. You are not allowed to go beyond this point. If you need greens, you can buy some from the yellow house up there. Oh, so there's like a shop here. Okay, I've already looted all of these houses. <laughs> this was locked earlier. Whoa, that is way less expensive than, um, than that other guy sells them for. Look at ten. Is that crystal still up here? Yes, it is. Oh my god. Still can't do anything with that. That's probably for something later in the game, if I had to guess. Okay, so the fact that she's level 9 kind of tells me that I'm probably a little under-leveled. These enemies are weak enough that I can kill them, like, in one round, though, which is nice. Oh, well, most, for most of the most point. Yeah, like, one thing I've always really liked is, like, a subtle form of, like, good game design is, like, when a game, um, tells you... Are you into water? Oh, yes, I'd say so, um... <laughs> when a game, like, subtly tells you what level you should be by, um... By making it so party members that just join your party are, like, the, the recommended level at that point. I don't know, like, a lot of games do that, and I always really like using that as a gauge. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell exactly how much fighting the devs intend you to do. 
I will admit, I have been skipping a lot of monster encounters, mostly because, like, the game isn't super hard. I went the... the right path last time. Let's do the left path this time. Also, is this a secret passageway? No, I, I can't step off this panel. Huh. It kind of looks like there's, like, a secret this way. You see that? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do more fighting along the way. Even if this is the route with less monsters. Oh, I, I got it. I should be using this, too. Hmm. How do I not have someone who has a water spell yet? Oh! Alyssa must know a water spell. Because I was doing those earlier. Yeah, she did. Wait. I have an aqua! Why is she not jumping in to use it? Because that's what Alyssa did. That is very weird. Huh. That might need to be looked at. Um, Unless maybe the mechanic changed and now my player character needs that spell? That's not how it worked earlier, so I doubt that would be a change that would take place. That is very weird. Well, I guess we're not getting that. Uh, That's unfortunate. I want to fight a golem again. Oh, that's not a golem. Wait, so are the golems just like stronger monsters? Some some games do that. Like they have the um. Uh, yes. Some games do that. They have like, like, or some games of on-screen counters do that. They just have like stronger monsters signify tougher battles. Though that doesn't really feel any harder. Health flask. Wait, that's different from a health potion. What does that do? Oh my god, that's good. Um, okay. Let's go around and grab that other chest. So he can jump in? Why does Lunel not jump in to do the water thing then? Huh, that is very odd. I should have come down this passage to collect this treasure when I played this, uh, this area originally. That would have been smarter because, like, I would have gotten everything. But also because, like, I wouldn't have ran to this weird oddity with Lunel. <laughs>
Oh, who needs weaknesses when you do that much damage? <laughs> I kind of like Jin a lot so far. Hmm. Well, we're at about an hour, so I think I'll leave it off here. I'll see you folks later. Thanks for watching. Where's my mouse? Oh, there we go. Okay, see you folks later. <laughs>